here than most other clubs in the league. Ready for the opening faceoff now between Lindbergh and Klee, the former teammates, and the draw won by David Klee back into his own zone as Muskegon controls that opening face by the Lumberjanks. Nordberg goes behind his net, trying to backhand it, hit Erdman, the Hawks get the puck back, and now with the two-man advantage in the offensive zone for 20 seconds, Delaney in the high slot, giving it to Mustard, right wing circle. Then below the icing line for Deering, goes behind the net, back around the perimeter. Here's Delaney with a one-timer, drove it wide. Mustard finds it off the end glass. Final seconds of the two-man advantage before the Lumberjacks get a man back. Mustard shoots, he scores! Another five-on-three power play goal for the Blackhawks. They've been perfect in five-on-three situations as Mustard hits the net, gliding from right to left across the slot, and the Blackhawks go in front. one nothing. John Mustard extends his point streak to seven games, and it's his team leading seventh goal of the season. So the Hawks make good on another five-on-three, and Waterloo in. Jacks take it away, and they come out with numbers, led by Spitznagel on left wing. Headed across, and it was up off the ice, did not find Marins. Goes into the corner on the left wing side. Hawks take it away, and it's deflected to the line out to the neutral zone. Comes across the width of the ice, and now McInnes up the rink for Morick. Then for a chance in front, and an open side. Butella scores! Here come the Hawks! Arrow Butella able to cash in on the feed from Tommy Cronin, who looked like he was handcuffed a little bit, but still had enough room to tap a pass to Butella for the stuff in and Waterloo in front 2-0 on Butella's second of the season from Cronin and Morick as the Blackhawks strike at 14-11 of the first period and use some of their depth for skated it now got it back helped by Raftery and Anderson sweeping it back out to the line chipped up the wall by Young to Solove and boards he's wrapped up by McInnes Raftery carries on into the left wing corner He's dueling with Kerr. Hawks take the puck away. Brown checked by Solovey. He couldn't clear it. Now Young moves into the slot, drops it back. Anderson shooting. He scores. Hunter Anderson puts a low shot by and a late power play goal for the Muskegon Lumberjacks with just 11 seconds left on the penalty to Mustard. Muskegon back to within one as the former Des Moines Buccaneer, Hunter Anderson, gets one back with the power play conversion. Play Hawks with a couple of looks already. Delaney shooting here. Geisel made the save but showed a rebound. Picked up by Raftery. He plays it behind the net. Has help there. Coring clears it. A minute into the second period. Hawks with a 2-1 lead and on the power play looking for more. Mustard has one of the goals into the offensive zone. Steers to the slot. Lost it. Chopped wide by Deering in front. And Townsend scores! Teddy Townsend! The finish after the initial shot went wide but came back out and left a rebound near the top of the crease. Townsend flips it in for the second Blackhawk power play goal in the game. And Waterloo is back ahead by two at three to one. For Teddy Townsend, that's number two on the season. And off the end boards, back out toward the line with it. Gridden, the big Russian forward turning. Then for Young, left point. Now to the boards and Gridden on the left side. Moves into the circle, then drops it back to Young. Setting up Anderson. He whiffs on a one-timer. Hawks poke it away. It's brought to the line. Reed fed it ahead. And Connor Brown now steers into the offensive zone. No one comes to challenge him. He gives it to Reed. He scores! Carson Reed! A short-handed goal! The Hawks catch the Lumberjacks napping and make it 4-1 to one as Brown and Reed send the puck back and forth. And Reed with the finish. One on one against Geisel by the time the puck got back to him. And Geisel, no chance when he went for the poke check and missed. Carson Reed, the third shorthanded goal of the season for the Blackhawks. For Reed himself, it's goal number two. Boards, power play time all but over. Reed chasing to the right half wall. Gets the puck back, trying to center one. It goes off the skate through the crease into the opposite corner. Now it's Hillman for Waterloo. Hawks at full strength. Hillman won the puck, fed it in front, went off the skate and wide as it hit Connor Brown and missed the net. Gridden tapped it out to center. Stolen away there by Delaney. Back in with Brown, two on one. Delaney moves in and shoots. He scores! Jacob Delaney catches the puck in the back of the goal. It's like a dart in the back of the net behind Geisel as Delaney strikes just after a Muskegon power play had ended. A couple of goals in the game for Blackhawks defenseman and Waterloo out to their biggest lead. It's 5-1 Waterloo at 10-25 of the second period.
left wing boards waiting for some help. He goes across the width of the ice for Veo. And a good play by Townsend getting into the play to swipe the puck off of Veo's stick. Townsend up the ice into the offensive zone. Moving to the boards on the right wing side. Now on his backhand, he cuts behind the Muskegon net. Townsend dribbles it away from a defender. Comes across the high slot. Throws on the brakes quickly. Slings it across Jaden Reed. Right point now for Townsend just inside the line. Back for Reed. Wrist shot. He scores! Here come the Hawks. Jaden Reed sends the water bottle popping up into the air. Putting it under the crossbar for a four on four goal. It's four unanswered for Waterloo. As Jaden Reed is the sixth different Blackhawk with a goal in this one now. Four of them in the second period. 14-11, the time on this goal for Reed, set up by Townsend, who's got a multi-point game going. And Jaden Kerr, now with his third of the season. Did I say Jaden Reed? Apologies if that's the case, it's Jaden Kerr with the on the Blackhawks on after the icing call. Hawks win it, Townsend. Flipped it out to center. And it's Barry for Muskegon. Bauer, Barry for Pearson. Trying to back down a defender. Got around Miller. Turns and shoots. Fought off by Vashon. Long rebound picked up by Cronin. Out to center. Has help. Three on two. Cronin into the offensive end. Cronin dragging and shooting. He scores. Tommy Cronin beats Sweden to the stick side. It's 7-1 Waterloo on Tommy Cronin's first as a Blackhawk. It's a five goal second period for the Waterloo Blackhawks and a multi-point game for Tommy Cronin. 16-26 of the second as Cronin keeps the line going. Frost clears it the length of the ice. Flying back up the rink, it's Young on left wing. Steers across the Blackhawk line, drop pass Anderson, moves across the high slot, meandering to the right point, handing it off to Young on the way by. Young back pedals. Saucers one to Gridden, left wing boards. Gridden below the icing line, gets it right back from Solove. Gridden for Solove, side of the net, stuff attempt saved by Vashon. Rebound loose near the top of the crease, and Muskegon scores. A power play goal, Vashon was down, reached back, could not get control of that one. And the Lumberjacks get the first goal of the third period at 7.40. Poking one from the top of the crease that just trickled inside the post at the right of Vashon. And Solove got the last touch on that, just putting it off the post and in for the power play goal. Both Muskegon goals in the game on the power play. So the Lumberjacks two for five. That's the same number that was some offense to show for his night. Got it to Lindbergh behind the net. Lindbergh chased by Veo, but comes out left circle back to Miller inside the line. Tyler Miller, then for Connor Brown. Just under a minute left on the power play. Brown to the side of the net. Here's Lindbergh, stick handling, shielding the puck. Tries to stuff, attempts to stay by Sweden. Rebound free at the post. It gets across the goal line. The Hawks have scored. It's eight to two, Waterloo with the third Blackhawk power play goal of the night. And Gavin Lindbergh was jabbing at it. He might have gotten the last touch. Lindbergh looking around to see if maybe it was Thorson or Brown. They were all there near the side of the net as the Hawks capitalize on the power play. Lindbergh a couple of swats. Ultimately, I think, put in by Thorson for his first of the season. And Waterloo three for four on the power play at 10.39 of period number three. Marins brings it to center, 10 seconds left to go in the third. Marins lost it shy of the Hawk line. Cronin comes across looking for one more chance in this game. Turns to the left wing corner, cue up the final horn at Young Arena. Hawks win. Waterloo defeats the Muskegon Lumberjacks 8-2 to two to win four out of five during a home stand that will not be equaled this season. The Hawks don't have another stretch of five or more on home ice at any point, but Waterloo does very well in this season-long five-game homestand and an exclamation point at the end of it with an 8-2 win against the Muskegon Lumberjacks.